Hi there. In this video, we are continuing our discussion about how we test a hypothesis about a linear combination of parameters. And remember that we had this model here, which related the score which an individual got on a particular test to their class attendance, their father's education and their mother's education. And the hypothesis we were interested in testing here was, was it necessarily the case that the effect of a father's education is the same as the effect of a mother's education on score. So that's the null hypothesis against the alternative, which is beta 2 does not equal beta 3. And we spoke about one way of doing this, which was to form a t statistic, which was equal to beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat, divided by the standard error in beta 2 hat minus beta 3 hat. And we spoke about this can be a little bit round the houses to get there because of the fact that you have to actually get the estimate of the covariance between these two parameters in order to evaluate the denominator here. So I was starting to suggest an alternative. So remember that this implies that beta 2 minus beta 3 should be equal to 0. And what I was suggesting here is that we actually say that if the null hypothesis is true, then beta 2 minus beta 3 should be equal to 0, but I'm actually going to let it equal some amount delta. Which, if we rearrange this, we get that beta 2 is equal to delta plus beta 3. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to insert this into our above model. So if I insert this into the above model, what we get is we get that score is equal to alpha plus beta 1 times class attendance. That bit doesn't change. And now we're substituting in for beta 2. And in place of beta 2, we just put delta plus beta 3 times father's education plus beta 3 times mother's education plus this error term here. Which, if we rearrange this, we get the score is equal to alpha plus beta 1 times class attendance plus beta 3 times father's education plus mother's education plus delta times father's education plus this error term here. So the idea here is that what we would do is we would run a regression of score on three different independent variables. Class attendance, father's education, and the sum of father's education and mother's education. And then what we would do is we would do a t-test on the delta term here because essentially we are testing whether this delta is actually different from zero. So what we would do there is we would just do a standard t-test on our estimate of delta, which is delta hat. Because remember, if the null hypothesis is true, we know that delta should be equal to zero. So there shouldn't be any effect of father's education once we have already included it to have exactly the same effect as mother's education, which is what we're doing here. Essentially, this term here just represents the amount which is left over after we've already constrained father's education to have the same effect as mother's education. So just a simple t-test is a way of evaluating that on this delta term here. And this process is easily extendable to more complicated hypotheses or linear hypotheses. So let's say we had that beta 2 was equal to beta 3 plus beta 1. Then we could just go ahead and just assume that beta 2 minus beta 3 minus beta 1 must be equal to delta. And then we just substitute it into the above model. And then that would sort of tell us what our independent variables would need to be in the regression. And then we just do a t-test on one particular variable or one particular coefficient on a variable within our model. So this idea is easily extendable to the circumstances where we have a sort of linear combination of more than just two parameters. However, this sort of method actually doesn't work necessarily if we have more than one linear hypotheses about parameters. And that's what the next video is going to be about. I'll see you then.